We are here with Sarah, the winner of Dare to Lose with Miramont Lifestyle Fitness, Try 102.5 and 99.9 .9 The Point. Congratulations. Thank you. So, are you surprised? I am shocked and amazed. Absolutely shocked. I, I don't know why. I, I felt like I was going to place. I just did not expect to win. So, well, awesome. The, uh, we saw a lot of weight fall off of a couple of other participants, so it kind of made probably made you feel like you didn't have a chance to win it. Yes, I would say that's definitely true. So then, what was your motivation? Because if you weren't thinking you were going to win and you weren't worrying about winning, what was it that pushed you to work hard enough to win? Uh, I just I had a goal for a race, and the race was a week before the finale, and so this whole time I've been working for my goal for the race, and I hit it. So that was awesome. That's all I was focusing on because it's about me and my journey and what was important to me. And so winning is awesome. It's icing on the cake, but you know, it wasn't, that was not my goal. So from uh, getting to know you, um, I learned that you had lost some weight before and you plateaued yes. and you couldn't get past a certain point. What do you think was the difference that brought you past it? I think all the help and support and then working with Ethan, because he's just an amazing personal trainer, pushed me to do things I wouldn't do to myself and got me to that place because everything I'd read about plateaus and breaking through them was getting uncomfortable. And it's really hard to make yourself uncomfortable consistently. And Ethan made me very uncomfortable. <laughs> and it was so good so that when I ran and I could hit my goal, I could only hit that goal because I was very uncomfortable for most of my race. But it was going to end, and I was going to be happy with that. So I think that's what did it. I think being uncomfortable. So the help and support is obviously very important. Can you talk to us about Miramont and the people at Miramont? Yes. I, the people of Miramont are fantastic. I, I really can't say enough nice things about them because you're always greeted with a smile, and it's from the people who stock the uh, locker rooms. The other day I got locked out of the locker room. They were very nice and helped me get back into my locker. <laughs> Um, to the trainers, to the nutritionists and the wellness coaching. It's just a fantastic facility because it's about the whole person and treating the whole person and, and really caring. I felt like I am cared for every time I step into the building. They were very important, I'm sure, and all of the different programs that you were in probably had a lot to do with it, but the person who had the most to do with it was you. So talk to us about why you are proud of yourself. I'm so proud of myself to have hit a goal that I set three years ago. Um, and as of my weigh-in yesterday, I hit that goal. So I, that makes me proud. Being able to set goals, reevaluate goals, and then reset them uh, to be able to hit them makes me proud of myself. Being stronger, uh, feeling like I'm a good example for my children, all of those things make me proud. And moving forward, what, uh, what do you take away from it? Um, just to continue to push. I mean, you don't stop just because this is over. It's fun now seeing what more I can do and, and challenging my body to try new things and do new things and break through barriers. And I still have some more to go before I'm done where I, and down to where I would like to be and maintain. And even maintaining, I think, it's just a lifelong thing. Awesome. Thank Great. you, Sarah. Congratulations. Congrats.